okay so hello everyone welcome once again so hope you have watched my yesterday's video but if not uh, then uh, uh, it is good because uh, in that video only my audio was recorded and i was not able to capture the video as well as my screenshot so this particular video is about uh, isro's new initiative uh, to allow public to watch their rocket launches such a nice uh, uh, kind of concept it is and uh, it was being used by many of the uh, other space agencies to popularize uh, rocket launches and kind of make public feel proud about uh, their country's uh, kind of development in terms of rocket technology now uh, isro has started a new space gallery uh, from shri harikota and this particular uh, gallery will be uh, such that uh, you will be able to go visit uh, shri harikota uh, satish dhawan space uh, center where uh, from where you can witness the actual launches of the rocket now the first uh, the uh, inauguration of this particular facility is uh, going to be tomorrow on 31st of march where the first launch uh, able for the public uh, will be on 1st of april now it is day after tomorrow now yesterday they opened the website and uh, i was able to register uh, by the afternoon it is free it is free of cost and the link is given in the description so you can uh, visit the link and um, book for yourself but the, unfortunately uh, this particular uh, since it is so popular thing uh, all the registration the registration procedure is over now and there are no additional uh, tickets available uh, whereas uh, i have fortunately got a ticket and i will be traveling to shri harikota on 31st so tomorrow evening i'll start from bangalore and reach Sri Harikota around 5 o'clock in the morning and the rocket launch is around 9 o'clock in the morning so they are going to launch one satellite as well now uh, if you are a person willing to uh, observe or go and watch such a rocket launches uh, and if you are from Bangalore uh, there is very nice bus service from by KSRTC uh, and which starts in one day before in the night and you can uh, basically reach early morning and same day you can return as well. So I'm going to do that. I'll be there in Sri Harikota tomorrow. Uh, I'll start tomorrow night and then I'll reach there in, in, on 1st of April, uh, 2019. And of course, it is not an April fool uh, from uh, ISRO. It is a real thing. And just to show how the website looks. So in order to go to the, find the website, what you have to do, either go, uh, either look at my, um, descriptions in this of this video or else what you can do you just go here and say witness so rocket launch now if you do this you will get a link launch view gallery this is the actual link where you have to click i have given it in the description as well now what it opens is the details of this particular program what they have started and uh, below here this is how it will be uh, seen once it is fully developed whereas now it is in uh, kind of very coarse state so let me show you how it looks now yeah so this is the actual website specially designed for space theme park which includes rocket garden launch view gallery and space museum so this is a launch view gallery this is how it looks in, as of now and they will be uh, iso chairman will be inaugurating this particular facility on 31st of march uh, in order to register for uh, this particular event you have to go here click here to register okay and what it, sh it is showing now it is uh, registration is closed and says that thank you for your interest whereas uh, PSLV C46 mission will be coming soon and they will announce the date later. Whereas uh, I have already registered, let me show you. Uh, once you register, so for registration, it is very, very simple, no complications. What you have to do is uh, the person who is booking for, uh, suppose you're going in a small group or big group, it is allowed. If a person who is actually booking this particular uh, passes, he had to give his details which includes phone number and uh, basically phone number email id and 
Aadhaar card number. And once the registration is done, uh, the website will ask for the details of members. So each of the member who is going to visit along with you, you have to provide the name and their Aadhaar card number. So as I said, as of now, the website is closed because the C45 mission it is done. But uh, you can always visit for uh, next uh, launch. Now it is free, as I said. Uh, only cost which you'll have to bear is to visit this particular place and kind of traveling cost basically now let me show some more details Yeah, so I noticed that my uh, mic was off. So as I, I was telling that uh, this is my uh, boarding pass. This is how a pass will look like to witness the launch. And uh, ISRO has provided such a pass, very nice thing, so that you can enter that, uh, re, uh, like that particular campus very easily. And I have booked it for two people. You don't need any other details apart from your mobile number and Aadhaar card ID. And they will provide you this particular pass. This is how. The registration number is get generated for the person who is actually registering on behalf of a big group. If you are registering for a big group, one person has to first generate this registration number. And against that registration number, you have to fill in details of all other visitors. So that is what it is shown here. So two of us are going tomorrow. And of course, they will ask for vehicle number, but you need not to give all the details as if straight away. It is not mandatory. And Below here, there are a lot of instructions uh, for visitors. And as I was saying that uh, one of the good move uh, ISRO has done is they are allowing cameras, video cameras, cellular phones, uh, as long as they are not interfering. So that is very, very nice move because 
there will be a lot of people who will be interested to take photographs i especially myself going uh, for witnessing as well as taking some nice pictures so uh, good that uh, they are allowing it and yeah apart from this uh, there are very basic information you have to go along with your id and uh, uh, produce it in uh, in the reception also or in the entry so if you are interested stay tuned to the isro's website which i shown before which is this yeah so stay tuned to this particular website uh, they will be having additional launch uh, announcements very soon and as a, as far as you know that isro has been launching satellite almost every uh, kind of month or so so you should be able to get or you should be able to go and watch for one of the launch in coming time i am very lucky to get for the first itself first launch from this particular space theme park where they have launch gallery so yeah stay tuned for this website if you forget the website come to this video and in the description i have given the link and all the videos and photographs which i will be capturing over there i will definitely post on this particular channel so don't forget to subscribe to this particular channel and okay then i'll see you in the next video i'll as i said i'll post some of the videos uh, from this particular launch definitely and stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one